Hey. Hi. Hi. This is a very late um, Baca Friday here on Friday, November 6th. Um, obviously, there was a reason for this. It's been a very busy time. Um, I don't know why. I don't know why. It's been kind of a crazy week. I'm sure that the whole entire world knows why it's been a crazy, crazy week. Um, mm -hmm. but, but the fun part is, is that this crazy, crazy week ends um, is book ended with an important event that happens tomorrow. Um, do you want to share that important event with all of us? I turned 39 again. She turned 39 again for the 11th time. Um, <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's Rhonda's birthday. So I am hoping that if people watch this lovely little Vodka Friday, that they can, you know, drop her a message, you know, certainly can put it on YouTube as a comment. You oh, can go nice. out to social media, right? Or Twitter or um, Facebook, or you can send an email or make a comment on the blog itself. Um, so signals, carrier pigeons. Yes, absolutely. Camel across the desert. I whatever. like that. Yeah, whatever it takes, whatever it takes. So with that said, I thought maybe I could ask you some questions for um, this this uh, monumental um, event. And of course, since you know this is Daily Durani related, we'll make it um, we'll make it uh, you know we'll give it a little Durani spin. Okay. Little okay. All right. Sounds so like here's um, here's my first question for you. If you could have designed your the ideal way to spend your fiftieth birthday, oh, okay, related to being a fan, what would you have? How would you? What would you have designed? What would be your like ultimate like birthday celebration as a Durani? Uh, okay, well, I think what I would have done is I would have liked to have gone back to the UK. Um, I would love, you know, I don't think I've ever been to a, uh, a concert on my birthday. I, I don't think so. I can't remember ever going. Um, so I, that would have been fun. I think what I would have done is gone. If I could design the whole thing, I would have spent like a week. Cause really for me to try to get away for longer than that is very hard. Um, but I would have gone to London and I would have definitely done Birmingham again. I would have liked to have had the concert in, in Birmingham and done um, like a like our get together, like we did, um, God, so many years ago. I would have done that, you know, at one of the pubs. Um, I don't know where I would have stayed. We stayed at the Hyatt the last time, and I don't really remember a lot of the hotels there, but I would have tried probably some. Mel Maison. We stayed there. The oh, I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. That's right. That was fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd stay there. I probably wouldn't stay in the same room, but um, I mean, the room was cool, but it was just monstrous big. I yeah. would have just stayed in a regular room probably, but um, I would like to do that. I would have liked to have taken the Duran tour and actually seen where the guys lived. Mm -hmm. um, Places we and then I would have made car. what places we could not get to without a car. Yeah, yeah. And I would have liked to have gone um and done more in London because I, I do like London. It took me a long time to get used to that place. It's very busy compared to even Los Angeles, which is weird. Everyone runs everywhere. <laughs> and um, but I would have liked to have gone back. I would have gone to see the crown jewels again because I love that. I love going to the Tower of London. That's my favorite. Um, so I would have done that. I would have gone and had tea again because I an did. ice cream. Oh yes, more ice cream for sure. Um, and you know what? I I think I would like to see one of the castles. I've never done that. We I have not ever been to um, Buckingham Palace. I've never been to Windsor. You know they have um, tours you can take. I would like to do one of those because I've never done that before. Um, so I think that's what I would have done, but I would have liked to have done it with people from here, like to have Lori go with us or Susie, um, or both obviously. And then, um, met up, you know, at their hard rock there in London mm -hmm. and done that. Um, remember when we went to, uh, what was it called? The reflex? Yeah. The reflex. Um, that mm -hmm. was fun. I mean, it's kind of kitschy, you know, yeah. cute, but, but I mean, it was fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
but I would do that more of that. I think honestly, that's, I would love to do stuff like that again. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. And take the train. I want to take the train and go do the, the, through the Mount, um, the, you know, the beautiful fields and stuff and see the countryside. Mm-hmm. I would love to do that. I would love to go walk down the street and see John's house in, in, oh, you know, yeah. yeah. Um, I, which means I'm a stalker, but mostly it's just cause I'm curious as to where he lives. I don't know. Right. I've never even seen right. it. Yeah. I know that there's places that, you know, lots of places I could go, but yeah, that's what I would do. And um, all right, so if you're designing the set list, as we often do before a show where we give our opinion, what are five songs that you wish that in this like fantasy birthday trip slash concert, five songs that you would want to um, see them play live? And it could be ones that are your favorites. I know how you're like, oh, well, it's the first one you're going to mention. Um, or it could be ones that they've never played that you want to want to hear. So five, because it seemed fitting for your 50th birthday, because that's your yeah. fifth decade on the planet. God. Okay. Actually, um, yeah. I definitely would like to see them play Red Carpet Massacre again. I know that that's a shock, but I would. I would like Maybe. to see them play that. Yeah, yeah I just like it. Yeah. I, I would like to see them play that. I would like to, so that's one. I would love to hear them do Late Bar. Um, I would like, is there something I should know? Cause that's my favorite. Um, what else? Oh my gosh. There's so many, I don't know. Planet earth. Cause that's ours for sure. I mean, that's perfect. Mm-hmm. Um, number five. I'm stuck on five because I really love Secret October, but I also really love Careless Memories. Um, hmm. Yeah, I suppose we could give you five plus one. Oh, as an encore? All right, so I, I, I would do Careless Memories and then I would want them to play Secret October for sure. Mm-hmm. All right. And in this, uh, again, this ultimate show, right? So um, tell me about the venue and um, where you were located in this said venue? Well, you know, I, I don't even know. I think, you know, we've seen them in big arenas. Every time I think of the UK, there's only one, one place I ever, ever think about. Right. And that's the place in Glasgow that we went to that was freezing cold. <laughs> I always think about that place because that's the memory. Everything else, I just, I can't even remember. Um, I love on a big arena or would you want something mid-size? No, that's the problem. I think that I would really like to do a small, small show. The smallest show I think I've ever been to, to see Duran Duran was at fourth and B theater in um, San Diego. Mm-hmm. And it was a GA show and it was tiny. I mean, at least that's my memory of it. I was at fourth row and I, I couldn't even comprehend being that close to John Taylor. Mm-hmm. I, it seemed like I could reach out and touch him. I couldn't, but I mean, it seemed like I could. Um, I would love a venue like that, but not packed with people. <laughs> um, only my good friends, right? But no, I mean, I, you know. Gig. Now we've moved on to private gig territory. I know. No, I, but I mean, I would love to see them in a small place like yeah. that. It's just, you know, friends. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I don't know where, I mean, I said Birmingham, but I don't know where the heck, you know. Sure, sure. And then where, um, where are you inside the venue? Oh, I'm in the front row. I, am all, I have to be. I don't think I'd be on the side. A little I've never been on the side. I can't even imagine seeing the stage from that angle because I wouldn't feel like I was in it. Yeah. yeah I would yeah. want to be in the front. And I probably would be like right in front of Simon probably because why not? or between Simon and Dom, because I like that spot. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And what are your, what is, what's your post-concert plans? Do you, uh, you go, you know, are you planning like uh, a dinner and like some, you know, a couple of glasses? I mean, nice dinner. I think wine, are you going out, finally you go into the Reflex Club or you go into, you know, what's, what's the plan? You I always like, out, like hanging out with friends, the- chatting. I always like it when we go out afterwards, but I like it when I can hear people and I struggle a lot in um, really crowded bars and clubs anymore. I can't hear. So I think I would 
I probably would do the hotel bar, you know, mm-hmm. and I, I, it's my 50th birthday. The band should probably be there. I think that's only fair. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They don't even have to, I mean, there doesn't have to be drinking if they don't want to drink, but they should come and, you know, have sit. Yeah, for oh. sure. I don't know that I'd still be breathing <laughs> afterwards. I'd be shocked, but it'd be fun. Sounds good. So yeah, I would tell them, you know what I would tell them, Amanda, I would tell them when the bar, when the person came over the waiter to take our first order, I would say, <laughs> just, <laughs> I would say, I know with the vodka tonics and just keep them coming, <laughs> which we have said before we have, <laughs> and we spent a lot of money that night on vodka tonics. Yeah, I know. It was fine. It was fine. Yeah. So nice. Is there anything else that you would want to add to this? this extravaganza of a trip and a show and, you know, anything else that you would want to make it ideal? More than one show. More than one show. Always. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One's never enough. Um, That's the weird thing about this whole stupid pandemic is how much you realize, you know, you, as many times as I've seen Duran Duran, Mm -hmm. and I've seen them a lot, not as many as some, but a lot it's not, it was never enough. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the one thing, you know, I kept thinking, oh, you know, I've seen them a lot. It's okay. And yeah, I mean, it is okay, but I could always stand, you know, another show and and I don't know. I miss them a lot. I miss my friends a lot. Um, This birthday is sort of kind of bittersweet, really. I'm, I'm looking forward to next year. Honestly, this year is just like, it's, I'm, my daughter's not coming home. Um, it's just quiet, it's quiet and that's okay. It's just sort of a dumb time to turn 50, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, just dumb. So yeah, it's okay. Mm-hmm. That's all right. It's when it's a number. That's true. That's true. Well, any, um, to finish up, do you have any birthday memories that you, um, that you really want to kind of like hold on to or remember for, um, for tomorrow? Mm-hmm. Uh, I remember it could be a card it could be you know whatever whatever sticks in your head is like Hmm. I remember when I was let's see I would have been 12 or 13 because that was the highlight you know that the the height of Duran Duran right yeah Um, one of the years I I don't think I got it for Christmas I think I got seven in the ragged tiger for my birthday I got the album um and I remember ripping that thing open and being so excited because I had it in my hand um I want to keep that feeling forever um and I remember getting the video album and that now that was weird because if I recall and it might have been that I got that for Christmas I can't really remember but I remember that I didn't have anything to open because it was on back order um, and it was the VHS, right? And so I remember getting the receipt. My mom had, had wrapped the receipt for me. And it was this pink piece of paper saying that, you know, they had ordered it for me and it was on ba- back order from our video store. Um, and I remember being super excited. Yeah. If I could bottle all of the feeling I had when I was turning, I think I was turning 13, yeah. I would be happy f- for that forever. Um, you get to be 50 and it's, you, f- you take so much for granted. And I think that that's the thing is this year has taught me not to, you know, to, to do that. And to really, I try very hard. I'm not very good at it, but I'm trying hard to look at the bright side of everything. You know, there's a lot of bad things mm-hmm. that could be happening or that I could feel. And in my, you know, my private life, my family life, at least with Wald is good, but there's other things that are not good at all. And I just try to ignore it and be happy for the good things because, you know, you just, you don't know how long you have. I've had family members die at, at 50, which is really very depressing and sad. And um, I don't want that to happen to me. So I've been working out. <laughs> I, I did. I, I started a, um, a another workout program and I noticed a huge difference in myself. And so I actually can do more. I suck at dancing. I will tell you that. And there will never be video of that ever online, but I, you know, I'm doing little things here and there to try to feel better. So that's great. I don't know. That's yeah. Great. I need that energy though. I really do. I need my 12 and 13 year old energy back. Yeah. 
like it, like it. All right, so just to finish up, any words of wisdom for those of us who are much, 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 much younger? Don't turn 50 during a pandemic. Okay. <laughs> Don't. Um, it was is a funny to... year for me, so it's just yeah. not, I'm not in the best mood, I have to admit. Um, I don't know. I think that if whatever time you can spend with your friends is good time, whatever time you can spend with your family is good time well spent. Um, I think worrying about some of the crazy stuff that's gone on in this year is not worth the time. I've stopped a lot of my social media. Um, I don't even regret it. I don't. Um, I think we've let that social media like really enter our lives. And I was telling my mom this earlier, I just feel like sometimes like we're too open. And I say that for me, you know, I'm pretty open on our blog and stuff, but this has really gotten out of hand and it's, I don't, I don't like it. And so I've kind of taken back. I, I, I think my feelings can be my private feelings about things and I don't need to share everything. Um, and I do, I disagree with a lot of people all the time. And yet I still have a whole lot of respect and love and admiration for people and it's okay. And if you are valuing yourself based on what a rock star um, says or does, you need to check yourself and think long and hard about that because you, you don't need to be validated that way. No one does. Right. So that's my advice. There you go. All right. Well, on that note, um, I hope others will uh, join me in wishing Rhonda a happy birthday. Um, make it a little bit brighter, a little bit better, a little less like isolating. So again, <laughs> Facebook, Twitter, um, email, comment on the blog, comment on YouTube. Um, she'll see it. She'll find it. And on that note, happy birthday, Hobay. Oh, thank you. Thanks. Bye, everybody. Bye.